Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Kuru Shell. Um, recent developments have um, happened. Um, our neighbors um, are at war with each other. Um, I anticipated going against the uh, Great Zavo Empire first, but as it turns out, um, they are at war. Um, and they're at war with these guys, the Union of Zul Planets, and the Lolindra Confederacy. And these guys are not doing so well because they're losing by like a negative 19% war score goal. Um, which is beneficial to me because um, as these guys um, blow each other away, um, it gives me the added advantage of being able to kind of clean up the um, clean up the pieces. So um, I'm gonna build a um, wormhole station right here that'll give me access to these planets. Um, and if it's so necessary, I will fly through and I will blast away um, whatever remains of their uh, of their systems. So. Let me just look at this. If I were to go to war with these guys, um, we're looking at. Um, I'm gonna vassalize, obviously. Um, so, which one of, would I vassalize first? Would I vas vassalize the Union of All Planets, or would I vassalize uh, the uh, Lolindra Confederacy? And I'm thinking I would probably vassalize the Lolindra Confederacy because. Um, they have the most space, but at the same time, they're a little bit further away. Um, I would more than likely destroy the um, the um, orbital station that's over here. So that would kind of leave a nice chunk of space open for um, someone to expand, and then I would be cut off from my territory right there. But I'm I've still got my my. Oh, that guy convinced myself on that one. Um, so I'll probably vassalize these guys right here. Because then I'll also have this space. Um, so. Um, so, ideas. I've got some ideas. Both just waiting and seeing. Um, because once, if these guys, if the fleet power goes so pathetic, then I know that they've pretty much lost the war. And then I can sneak in there and. Um, just take over everything. Um, and but you know we'll, we'll be good to them. We're not like evil people or anything. We're we're good. We just need to expand our territory, and we're going to invite them with open arms. So let's see what kind of species this is. There, desert, desert, desert. That desert, desert. Ah, seriously, <laughs> deliver a desert planet. Um, which means once I do take their territory, um, I'll be able to colonize desert planets with their species, and that would open up um, colonizing this world, um, or at least one of the worlds in this system. Um, that would open up. Come on, stop saving. Uh, okay, well. I guess we would just open up the savannah world and the desert world. Um, because I can't do tundras just quite yet. Construction complete. But it will open up some doors for me. Boom. Okay, this is the only system I wouldn't have access to. Um, but that's okay because when you're at war with someone, you can actually build a, um, a a wormhole station in their system. So if I did do what I think I might do, I would just build one right there or. Right, well, yeah, more likely like right here or something like that, just to get access to their, to their space. I still have my eyes on these guys too, because I could technically go to war with both sides while they're fighting each other. I could totally sneak in and 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 I could take. Let's see, if I were to do that, if I were to go to war with these guys. Vassalize 95. Or I can make them my tributaries. That, that would be easier. Smaller war goal. I can go that route. They'd still be our subjects. We still have 
their territory under control. We could eventually um, try to make them our vassals and then integrate them with hope, with planning. But it's a lot more difficult. But if I can take this territory, or I can take this territory, then my resources would bump up, my um, my influence um, in this sector just would increase because I'd have a little bit more control. Um, I have a lot larger territory. All of this would kind of connect. Um, so I, I want to I want to kind of do these guys right here. Now that I think about it, now that they've got this war established, like it is complete. So, anyway, let's go back to the system, this planet. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna bump up the uh, research there. Bump this up, bump this up. Because um, we need some more minerals. What are we doing on food? We're good on food. Um, I should have probably researched the mountain ranges. Maybe that'll become available soon enough. Um, so I can get access to those others. Oh, we are doing pretty good on our, uh... But we need energy and... Research. This is... This is such a beautiful planet. I'll just say that because we have so many resources, so, um, energy resources available. Um, what's that? Five. Food? Gonna bump this up. Gonna bump this up. And I'm gonna bump this up. Just so I'm done with bump this up. There, there we go. So we're gonna have all of these, um, all of these tiles are gonna be full pretty soon because these uh, hip. Oh, you know, it just dawned on me that um, see negative fifty eight percent. <laughs> the Ministry of Benevolence has been created, so it's like negative 15% to ethics divergence. Um, this is insane. Even Jafab's curiosity, which is like way over here, um, these guys are at ethics divergence of negative 34.1%. And the reason that's important is because as they start to take over these other systems with these other species, um, they'll eventually divert. Um, their, their ethics will change, and they'll be they'll have the same ethics as us. They're militaristic, and they're xenophiles, but they're going to become fanatic spiritualist collectivists, just like us. One of their ships just left that sector. What are they doing right now? They are inferior, inferior, inferior. That's awesome. That is exactly what I need to see. These guys are pathetic to us, but inferior, inferior, inferior. That's even more fantastic. Um, whoa, we're maxed on in, um, energy now, and that's exactly what we need. I always like to have us max on energy, because as we go to war, um, it, it'll probably go into negative. But... Okay, okay, bump that up, bump this up, bump this up, that's what I'm looking for. Let's do it, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, so let's see. That's building that, that's building that, that's building that up. Um, then we'll get more, uh, more minerals on this planet. Well, this planet, there's no constructions going on, so I can, um, before I do that, okay, so you're gonna be here, but I'm just gonna build um, power plant, power plant right here. Uh, build a. Yep. Build the engineering science lab right here. Let's see. Then I will build a power plant right here. How many uh, minerals do I have? Not a lot. Of... Um. And so I will. Um... 
What am I going to put right here? We're going to put the mineral stations right here. But see, how much food do I have? That's two. Um, so. So I'm going to build one more farm over there. Yeah, I think that'll work. Excellent. And then we'll upgrade this to its next level. On this planet, let's see, I've got you right there, I've got you coming in right there. How am I doing on our society research? It's doing pretty good. We're gonna upgrade this first. Upgrade this first, upgrade this first. And then, upgrade this first. How much food do we have here? Build a... Oh, okay, well I've gone through all my minerals. Again. I had so many minerals. And now they're all gone. System survey complete. There were one in the fight. They're at 19 war score, now they're at 16 war scores. So maybe these guys are giving them a, a better fight. Pathetic. Still inferior on that end. These guys are still inferior. They're equivalent. What? How do they go back from? Okay. Maybe they were always equivalent. Maybe they were they were superior before. Now they're they're equivalent. Um, but what I need to do is bump up my uh, my fleet power too. I'm watching those wars very closely as I as I um, improve different things on my end. Um, I should have just focused on minerals so I can build more minerals and then build more more ships. Um, because my fleet power, let's see, my, 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 my naval capacity is at 88, um, but I only have 70. Um, so I have to um, bump that up so that I can actually um, build more ships. So I want to build like five more cruisers, but that's going to require 1,500 minerals. So I might have to wait. I'm just going to wait on um, wait on minerals and move on to um, I'm going to move on to just taking care of some of these um, space creatures out here. I'm gonna take care of the space creatures. What is this? Oh! So, Compromar is 98 years old. Um, and that's amazing. And seems nearly impossible. Um, so, I'm gonna give him a task of doing more important things because he's level 5. And I hate the idea that he might die. And who knows, maybe he never will. <laughs> sometimes sometimes the game will bug. And when that happens, then it's like hallelujah. Um, because, um, I hate to say it, but if the game is bugged, then it's bugged in my advantage. And I'm not going to complain about a bug in my advantage. Um, <laughs> let's see, these guys don't hate me, so I can travel in their space. So I'm just going to research this project. I'm going to research this project. I'm going to research this. 
And as I research all of these, they're going to give me significant bonuses to my society research. Um, so it's going to allow me to... Uh... It's going to allow me to do a lot of different things. I think that's all of them. Pretty much just going to bump up my, my, uh, my society research. My society research is already up there. Um, but I'm going to make a lot of progress on different researches within that time period that I'm researching all those different projects. And it's going to get me bonuses. It's going to get me a couple of different things. So I'm excited about that. Anyway, he's done with that. So he's going to leave that sector. And this guy who's just sitting around doing nothing is going to come finish um, surveying this system. Surveying the system, surveying the system. You know what, we'll, we'll survey these systems too, uh, because we might have this base next, and that would just kind of spare us some time. How's this war going? Negative 16 war score, like still, still, let's see, it's inferior, inferior, inferior. How are these guys doing up here? Because they're the ones that are um, still equivalent in every way. Keep this brief. So I don't want to go up against these guys just quite yet, because they're still equivalent. Um, I mean, I will eventually go up against them, but um, if I can, if I take out these guys, um, then I'll have a lot more at my disposal to move on to some of the bigger guys, like these guys and these guys. And then when I take care of these guys, these guys, and these guys, complete. then I can move on to uh, some of the alliances. Disruptors. Excellent. So I can either bump up our power plants, bump up my deflectors, which I've been waiting to do for quite some time, bump up my uh, deflectors. There's no doubt about it. I mean, I do need, I mean, I do want to be a have more power plants because I'm going to need the energy, um, but I might have fled those at the still like the, the first level uh, weak power. Hold on, yeah, that's going to be 106 months. I can't do that. 22 months, that's crazy. But that's not as bad as 102, 106. I want to get these physics labs. Um, that would be very helpful for my physics research because that's the lowest thing still. Um, and I want to get more power because um, I'm going to need that as I go to war, but my ships need better with shields. Otherwise, we're going to get blown out of the sky. Blown out of space, more like it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm feeling more confident about, um, about some of this stuff here. Construction complete. Okay, he's surveying the system, um, which doesn't really bode well for me because if they get, if they're surveying the system. <gasps> Wait a second, was that what I think it was? I think I just saw, uh oh, a colony ship in their space. They might be trying to colonize this planet. They don't have a right to colonize this planet. Only I have a right to colonize this planet. Because I said so. So I'm just going to, um, just in case, I might have to do something really, um, really silly. I'm going to create a colony ship. And I'm going to colonize this planet. Probably shouldn't, but I'm going to. Just so I could, um, because um, I mean, I'll, I'll need to be able to expand further out 
And I won't be able to do that if I only have one system right here. Um, at least without taking these guys to space. Eventually I'm going to go to war with this Hostile fleet alliance, but that's going to be a while out. Uh, so, fleet taking a while Okay. We're destroying the, um... Oops. It just occurred to me that I never upgraded my, uh, my fleet. Uh. Let's see how we're doing against these guys. Do we have defenders that are blowing up these little things here? We defeated them without losing a single ship. That is exactly what I needed to see. That is exactly what I needed to see. Perfect. Now go back home. Oops. And upgrade the fleet. Um, because I forgot to upgrade the fleet. And now that's there. I can send my science ship, who's kind of bored. And I can send you to research that, then survey this system, and then survey some of these systems. Hopefully, as you're surveying these systems, you're not going to come across any mean alien amoebas. We got these guys right here. How soon before this colony ship is finished? Not long from now. I hate the fact that I still can't communicate with these. Um, it's so stupid. I, why can't I communicate with these uh, these guys? Special project complete. Awesome. See, this is what I'm talking about. Zolkar Swarm secured. Um, so this has given us a 250 bonus to our society research. The Zolkar are swarming insect and allergy and analogs. Um, unusual both for their large size and the fact that they are lithovores feeding off rocks and minerals of the ground. One of the shuttles belonging to the Mana. Monobach, the Sentinel sustained serious damage when it inadvertently passed through a large swarm, and several Zolkars began to feed on its hull. Um, huh. Okay, so they're, they're going to put these in the Museum of Exobiology. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. So, that gave us a bonus, bonus to our society research. So this has been dropped to uh, four months remaining. And this System is going to help complete. with um, this is going to help with that. The United Nations of Earth have declared war on the Collectora Order. Okay, I did not see that coming. They are at war with all of those, so they're pretty much done for. Um, break down aggression pact. Confirmed. Construction complete. <laughs> Incoming transmission. <laughs> and of course they want that, but but um, in ten years, um, if they're still there, um, they're not going to have that much going for them, and so um, I'll be able to expand this way. Um, and I'm not exactly sure why the why the um, these guys have chosen to go to war with these guys, um, but them going to war with these guys will hopefully mean I might get access to um, this space station right here. I get access to the space station right here. Um, so I'm just gonna. Um, 
I knew this was eventually going to happen, so I'm just going to be an opportunist. Alright, the music's playing. Means that it's time for um, me to end this episode pretty soon. And I'm just going to check the war status. It's pathetic still, but their fleet power is not pathetic, it's inferior. And let's see about these guys. They are equivalent fleet power. But they won't be for long. Because we're upgrading. We're still repairing our ships. <laughs> After the repair, they'll be upgraded. But 70% of the team, so we're, we're going to have a, um, a stronger fleet pretty soon. Um, in the meantime, we're not going to get too many minerals because we're too busy um, upgrading and um, repairing complete. our ships. But buy a lab. It's great. Foreign Federation, Military Academy. I've been avoiding this for some time, but I do need to boost my um, 12 months. That's that's not a bad thing, but Energy Siphon. I kept saying that I was going to get Energy Siphon, and so now I'm going to get Energy Siphon. Um, because I've, I'm long overdue for Energy Siphon, and then after that I'm going to build like 10 Corvettes, all with energy siphon focus, um, so that they can uh, drain the uh, shields of my enemies, while the rest of the fleet handles the uh, the, um, the armor. Second armada. Why they call it second armada? Oh, that's, they're the lot more than second. They're like my only armada, really. <laughs> but um. Um, I decided I'm going to give them a name too. I'm going to name them. Um, what's the name of the? Uh, what's the name of the? Uh, okay. I'm going to name it the Daloth Armada. Name it after the um, the guys that are making it happen. Okay. Construction complete. System survey complete. Watch for me. Debris analyzed. Yeah. Excellent. And we have a breeding region of tall issue. I mean, hull issue. Ships not hull upgraded. Issue. Construction hull complete. Whatever. I have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> hull declined. So their war score is at negative five percent, which I expected. Well, negative five, yeah, which I expected um, so was going to happen. Um, our fleet power is now in the three thousands. And so let me see how we compare now to these guys. They're still equivalent for some reason. These guys are inferior. Um, and these guys are incoming transmission. Pathetic. That's awesome. Incoming transmission. Nope. Alright. So these guys, they're equivalent in every way. Keep this brief. Wait a minute, they're they're at war. Oh, because they were def they were in a defensive pact with the Collectora Order, um, which means that they um, this is negative thirteen, negative three thirteen, and this is fifteen. So they're winning this war, but they're losing in this war because of the fact that they're in that alliance, which works to my advantage because it means that I can. Um, while their while their forces are divided, um, I can actually. That's two fifty four. Yeah, they've they've got nothing. These guys are they they have nothing. They're they have nothing right now. Um, pathetic. But 
I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna do anything against them just yet. Um, anomaly found. Anomaly found. Research that. I've decided that I'm going to attack these guys first. Um, because if I go to war with these guys first, then after I take these guys and make them vassals, uh, the war between these guys and those guys will be over. Society research gained. Perfect. If I go to war with these guys, um, and I... For instance, vassalize these guys, the war between these guys might continue. I want to I I take care of these guys while they're losing. So... Problem is, these guys are inferior. And those guys are pathetic. So these guys are easier target. Um, but, in the meantime, I'm just going to build a couple more cruisers because I'm not at my full fleet power yet. Research complete. So which one does the most damage? These both do the same equal amount of damage. Perfect. I'll go with Gladius. And then, actually, come on. Two. Okay. All right. Improved reflectors and. Type between X ray laser or antimatter reactor. We're gonna have to go with the X ray. Scientist Kampramar died at complete. the age of 101. Ah, oh, I am so sad for Kampramar. Um, you know, Kampramar was 101 years old. I am so impressed by that. He is the oldest. He was. He's lived a longer than anyone else. I want to. I want to name another planet after him. See, he was very beneficial for us. Well, Desert World. Wait a second. Desert World. And these guys are perfect. That's right. Okay. So, once I take care of these guys, then I'll have them colonize this planet and this system. And we'll be naming that one Compromise Longevity. <laughs> because he lives for such a long time period. Research complete. Research complete. Frequency tuning. Wow, I went to that a lot faster than I thought I was going to. Construction a complete. A lot, lot faster than I was going to. That's leadership capacity. Leader Incoming capacity increase. transmission. Let's see. Leader recruitment cost negative twenty percent. That would be really nice. Um, that would boost happiness, but I don't need to lose energy credits or minerals. Um, Plus, most of my people are pretty happy. Naval capacity, that would be nice. Um, 52 months, not agreeing with that. Or I can go with farms. Um, and then build the more farms. Wrap this up. Alright, it uh, seems like I'm going to be choosing between these two. Um, I've got a nice amount of naval capacity right now. Uh, I'm not going to sweat. Um, actually, on second thought, this guy is making me nervous because he's nervous. Um, this leader is going to last 47 or oh, 40 more years, probably. 30 more years, maybe. <sighs> Once this guy gets in, it's going to really knock down my uh, naval capacity. So I have to be ready for that. Nah, eh, 
tough decision. But it goes, it'll go with that, that costs less. I'll get through that very quickly, 24 months. Um, what, what I need to get is the eight, there's an edict, there's a special edict that I can get um, that will actually um, boost naval capacity um, and um, something else, it boosts something else. There's, there's, a, there's another edict that I'll get um, with a different research, so I'm looking for that. When that comes around, I'll get that. Problem is, Kumpramar's gone, and now I don't have anyone to research um, all those other researches. So, wait a second. Available. What? You only have to be level. <gasps> Skill level 3! Awesome! That is awesome. Okay. Change of plans, my friend. Where is he? So he is going to research. System survey complete. Alright, so stop. You're done with that research for now. And he is going to continue where Compromar left off. Research this project. System survey complete. Research this project. Research this project. Research this project. And research this project. War with these guys for another couple of years, but they have pretty much. Oh wow, they're only at minus two. That's interesting. It's a different war score than I was expecting to see. Hmm. Very different war score than I was expecting to see. Let me go back to my planets, because I haven't, um... Oh wow. I didn't set the timer again. So... I have no idea how much time has passed. Oh, I hate when I forget to do that. But we're doing pretty good as far as, um... Populating this planet, and let's, let's see. So we got seven extra on the food. Them nation vassalized. Oh, I don't care about that. That's way over there. We'll bump this up. That way it'll bump. It'll um, it'll give us a little bit more food. It'll help with the energy. Um, and then I will build. Construction complete. Mining network right here. Build. Mining network right here. Incoming transmission. That's you know, you know, just, yeah. These guys are right here. I guess I'll build. Processing plant right here, and mining right here. Then I can build a. Uh, this is a nice sized planet, so I'm getting. I can get plenty of minerals, and I can get plenty of energy, and I can get some research done on this planet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Compromise 
Lost Wisdom. I don't think anything's constructing right now on this planet. Oh no, there's one thing constructing. Okay, I just upgraded the okay, that's so that uh, this is upgrading, so I'm just gonna Well I'll have to wait, I need some more minerals here. So I was gonna I told myself I was gonna build some more um cruisers. Oh the cruisers are built. So I'm gonna merge them with this fleet. Post. Perfect. Research station. Definitely. And mining station. Yes. What is this? Oh, okay, gotcha. That's that. Our territory is expanding just a little bit because of the, the increased um, pops. And the more populations I have, the... Oh, wow. <laughs> Julian Consortium. They're way over here. And they are militarists. Xenophobes. Fanatic xenophobes. Oh, they're fanatic purifiers. Wow, these are the guy. These are the, the the crazy people. These are the ones you watch out for because all they want to do is destroy you uh, because you're aliens. Your alien ways are objectionable to us, but perhaps we can still engage in limited trade, assuming your inferior civilization produces anything of value. Um, <laughs> and how do we? <laughs> and all of our our responses don't compare in any way. We share the same divine heritage. I'll just toss it out there because what else are we gonna say when they insult us? Um, they are inferior to us. That is what I like to hear. That is really nice. They are inferior. Fleet power, inferior naval capacity. They have six planets, and inferior technology. So, knowing this um, gives me the idea. Um, that while they're inferior and while they're static, I might go to war with them. We, we can take these guys out. Um, this is uh, this is actually a nice bit of territory. If I did go to war with them, um, special project complete. I would have to make them a protectorate, but that's not a bad thing, honestly. I. I feel like I could really take these guys. And they probably wouldn't be a protector for too long. And then um, they become a vassal. And then when they become a vassal, I could integrate them. I'd have all of this territory right here. So why don't I do that? I built this um, colony ship and, and anticipating um, colonizing this planet, but with all these different options opening up for me, I couldn't in my right mind at this moment pursue such a thing, um, because um, I, am really, I am really excited, but this episode has obviously gone way too far, way too long. 
So I will see you guys next time. Um, the universe is at war, the galaxy is at war, and we are about to take advantage of it. Have a blessed day. Happy with you.